Ohio State, they had their stud starting quarterback back in Troy Smith, and they had a couple of guys on defense that you knew were going to be stars. James Laurinaitis was coming on big time as a leader in that group. Malcolm Jenkins, eventual first round draft pick, was coming on. And then you've got this electrifying uh, lightning bolt at one of the offensive spots named Ted Ginn Jr. I think anybody could see there was potential there to maybe have a really gangbuster offense and, and, a, and a defense that could at least make plays when they need to make plays. Why this Ohio State offense is getting so much attention is because they have so much talent. I think In 2006, I was a color analyst uh, for ESPN. We had Ohio State earlier in the season, Ohio State at Texas, and that was a number one versus number two game. I don't think there was a more improved quarterback in college football than what Troy Smith became. In fact, he went from a athletic, unpolished, mistake guy with a tremendous upside to a very polished quarterback. Comes back the other way. Touchdown, Rubisky.